Good evening, everyone. The solar eclipse is only days away, and some schools across Acadiana are getting ready. That's right. Schools are taking precautions before allowing students to view the eclipse, even with the special glasses. Our Kendra LaFleur found out what schools are doing and why it's so important to wear those glasses. It's our top story. It's the most talked about event in this class at Green Tea Linden Elementary School. The moon will rotate. The class has been preparing for the solar eclipse, and third grader Daniel Johnson says he's ready for it. The moon will get in front of the sun. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm more than excited. With Lafayette Parish School System focusing on hands-on experiences for their science curriculum, teachers say this is a perfect way to get them involved. And it's just a wonderful opportunity for all of us to have discussions while we're watching this natural phenomenon occur. So here's what you should see during the eclipse. Pretend that this light is the sun. Once you put on your glasses, you should see an image similar to this. This is an example of what the sun should look like once the glasses are on. But if you take off the glasses, it's important to not look directly into the sun because it could cause problems. It's not going to cause complete blindness, but it can cause a blurry spot that persists for for days or maybe for life. Dr. Robert Blim says the glasses can protect your eyes from possible damage and says even with glasses on, you don't want to stare at the sun for no longer than three or four minutes. Solar retinopathy is very similar to if you look at the sun briefly like you're at the beach, you see a bright, the bright white sun and then you look away and you see a dark spot that's the same size as the image of the sun. That's temporary solar retinopathy. It goes away, your eyes are accustomed to handle a brief moment like that. But if you stare at that sun for three or four minutes and look away, that dark spot may not go away. Science rocks! But these third graders say they won't have any problems after weeks of learning and training with the glasses. It's very rare, and I've never seen it in my life. In Lafayette Parish, Kendra LaFleur, KTC TV 3. Science rocks and those cool kids do as well. All schools and school districts are different. Some are not allowing students to go outside at all. Others requiring a permission slip. But I'll agree, if you're going to go get a look, you should be prepared. There are only a few stores in Acadiana that still have the special glasses. If you can't find one of those stores, people at the Lafayette Planetarium say you can build your own viewing device. And to find out how you can do it yourself, visit KTC.com. DOTD also has a few tips for